We are. We're at the Key West Wildlife Center in Key West, Florida, and we're here with uh, Hello. Michelle. Mm -hmm. Hi. How How's are you? Going? Doing good. Doing good. Keeping busy. Lots so, of birds. So what do you guys do here? So we do, our main mission is to rescue, rehabilitate, and release as many wild birds as we can. So, so far this year we've done 1,040 birds, so we're very busy. Um, Key West is just a great spot, you know, not only do people like to vacation here, but birds do too. So we have a lot of migratory birds, we have raptors, we just actually released a peregrine falcon a few minutes ago that was uh, greased, it actually was hit by a car and uh, rolled in the grease, so we had to degrease him and get them ready, fatten them up, and we just released her. They actually migrate as far down as South America, and she may have come from like Canada, so she made a long trip. So it's really cool to help them out along their way. And have a successful release. Yes, yeah. So this is the hospital. When you first, when the birds first come in, they come in here. So we can just get a little peek at a couple of the patients here. This is a little royal tern that came in, and he's real emaciated hey. and thin. So we're just rehydrating him and trying to get him feeling better. So when the birds come in here, he they... pretty good. Yeah. He's alert. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, he is. He's pretty good. But then once they come here, we get them rehydrated and get them basically out of that critical stage. And then from there, we go out to the aviary where they go to a rehab pen, which is, you know, out and about so we can get them, um, you know, exercising and used to being, you know, flying again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just just like a human yeah, research. Yeah, exactly. And uh, he's kind of a pet bird. Yeah, he is. Yeah, we actually do occasionally people will release their um, their pet birds or get them lost. And uh -huh. um, we help out, you know, if one comes in, we, we get them healthy and try to find the homes. If we can't, then we adopt them out. Um, but that's just a very small, you know, part of what we do. We're basically it's a drop we're, in the bucket. We're here for the yeah, the wild birds. That's our main mission. Literally, so. how do we find you guys? What's your website? Uh, it's www.qswildlifecenter.org, and we are also on Facebook. You just look up QS Wildlife Center, and that's you know kind of our day-to-day -day happenings. The website's getting there. We're almost yeah. getting there. But well, I found you on Facebook. Yes. I know you're here. I've lived in Key West yeah. for five years, but when I saw yeah. you on Facebook, I responded. Yeah, a lot of people uh, don't know we're here. So it's really, we're right inside the Indigenous Park at 1801 White Street. And your um, phone number? It is area code 305-292-1008. Excellent. Well, let's look at the property. I mean, right. this is this is a gorgeous location. We're right really here at the is. end of uh, White Street. Or, now, this is Key you know, West, so apparently on. you have yes. an abundance of chickens. The huh? chickens is a small part of our mission. <laughs> We actually help the city in relocating nuisance chickens um, and the excess chickens. There's just too many for the small city that we have. They'll always be here, but um, you know we have them hit by cars. They're poisoned. They're shot, and, and that's not something that we want. You know, for them, yeah. we want to treat them so, humanely. So, so we would call these the bad chickens. Yeah, you know, <laughs> definitely the roosters the, are bad. The that's nuisance sure. chickens yeah, end up the here. Ones that wake you up in the morning. And, and I love this sign. I mean, you're talking about chickens in Key West, yeah. and there's a quiet please sign. Exactly. Here. Yeah, so the outer exterior, we have um, our permanent education birds, so birds that can't be released but still have a good quality of life. We got Chaco, the American kestrel, up in there. He's kind of tough to see. He's up amongst the, um, up in the, up in the Oh, yeah, in the back. He's a falcon, member of the falcon family. Uh-huh. And he gets to eat one, one mouse a day. Chaco. Chaco. He's an American kestrel? Yes. Smallest cool. member of the falcon family, and they're really, uh, he's got a humerus fracture, so our upper arm bone. So he, can, he cannot fly, so that's why he's here. So, so do these fractures heal in time? It's like They a human? heal, but they don't heal. Slowly. They have to heal perfectly for them to fly. fly. And right. birds' bones are hollow right. to aid right. in flight. So if there's one little um, you know, nuance in that, that fracture, the way it heals, they're, they're not going to be able to fly. Yeah. So that's where we come in. You know, we, we help them. We can get away with a splint and some you know, stuff like that. Um, but sometimes they're just not going to fly. And it just depends on how bad the injury is, whether the animal is a potential bird for living in captivity. So it's just like a human being in a hospital. There's a point where you say that they're just not going to make yeah. it. Yeah. And, and, and unfortunately, some of you know what we do do is you know um, euthanize some of the birds because yeah. there is you know injuries like where there's a bone, a compound fracture, where a bone is actually out of the skin. <laughs> Stuff like that, depending on where it is, um, right. we just can't can't save them, and their quality of life is affected. So certainly, we don't want. That. I love that sign with those chickens. So these are some royal terns with the big orange beak, and uh, the other guys are laughing gulls. We've got uh -huh. Happy, our one-legged laughing. Gull. Oh, right here in the front. <laughs> and they That's can actually happy. do okay, Happy. 
Poppy. Okay, good. Because I was going to say you should name him Lucky. No, yeah. <laughs> they do okay in the wild with one leg, but he's got some wing issues too, so that's why he's here. So they get along really well. They all have really nice habitats. This is a really cool bird that's just, just native to this area, the Florida Keys and the Caribbean. So people come from all over the world to see these birds. This is a great white heron, and his name is Spirit, and he's actually blind in one eye. So that eye on the other side is actually missing. And he, unfortunately, had a fish hook that went up through his mouth and out through his eye, and he lost his eye. I saw the picture of him. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. So he is. Um, that's why we a always tell pe bird. we tell people to you know take care of your fishing lines, absolutely. And your your uh, six pack holders, absolutely and all that when because you're on the water, yeah, so. I would say eighty to ninety percent of what we get is caused by humans. Yeah. I mean the, the injuries. This is a broadwing hawk. She was hit by a car last February. Her name's Bonnie, and she lost her eye as well. So they can't effectively hunt with one eye. You know hawks are very precise, and she just couldn't effectively hunt out there, unfortunately. So. She lives here, but she's got a nice, beautiful cage and got some nice, tasty morsels. And some herring dolls. This is our osprey Ozzy. Oh. He's got a couple of fish in there he hasn't started working on. He has a partial wing amputation on the other side there, so he cannot um, fly. So unfortunately, he cannot be released. But he he has a good time. He's just hanging out. Ozzy um, named after uh, the famous rock star. Oh. You know, it was just kind of, we like to name Ozzy the Osprey, you know, Vinny the Vulture, just so the kids There's remember. There's one taking off. There's yep, one running that's a away. Great, great blue heron that we actually released here at the park. And he but keeps, it likes keeps it. coming oh. back. <laughs> he thinks keeps this is home. coming back to visit. Exactly. It's like salmon coming yeah. back up the exactly. uh, river to spawn. <laughs> hey, Ozzy. How you doing, buddy? Very cool. Yeah, You've done some good work, Michelle, just from what I've seen today. And Thank you. We're trying. Three, We're getting there. Yeah, it's great. Ah, cool. hey, there's, there's Vinny. Yes. There's Vinny. We always hear him. He's the one that comes around and collects money. Yeah. Hey, Vinny. How so you doing? these guys are the janitors of the world, so they eat the scraps well, of decaying flesh. And somebody told me once, uh, somebody's got to do it. Exactly. Yeah. And so we're back to the bad. The lovely chickens. The yes. The, the bad quote chicken. bad. Now, what do you use this, this for? This is, this is a. Um, this was donated. We're going to use it at some point, maybe for a walkway or something. Uh -huh. We can't put it in with the birds because it's not a good surface for right. the feet. Right. But it's going to be a decorative item. Pretty. So you're happy when people bring things out here. It, it's almost everything is recycled and used. Yeah, exactly. You bad roosters. I know. Bad, bad, bad. Everything is used into something. <laughs> yes, um, definitely. Yeah, it's very important to us to be, you know. Give me, give um, me the, give me the sites and the whole wrap up one more time. Okay. Well, what we do is again the. Uh, say, it, say it, you're the Wildlife Center of Key Wildlife West. Wildlife Center, yes, Key West Wildlife Center. We're at 1801 White Street. Um, like I said, across from the Bocce's, the Bocce Ball Courts. That's, That's how everybody screaming knows next us. Door. Yeah, the exactly. Bocce Ball, yeah. Exactly. Right, right by the beach. Yeah. At the, uh, yes. And we're available 24-7. Our, our number is 305-292-1008. And we answer um, the call. You'll, you'll hear an emergency contact number during the night after hours. So anytime you have a, a wild bird emergency, you can contact us, and we'll, we'll be there for you. We've got a great group of volunteers that help out rescue and um, you know help clean the birds. So it's, it's really a great and Very it's always room job. for more volunteers, Exactly. Right? We definitely need volunteers, and we do need donations. It's a lot to keep up with. It really is. Yes, it really is. All right, this is Gary Eck cool. for Southernmost Media. <laughs> Here with Michelle at the beautiful Wildlife Center in Key West. Come on down. It's the end of White Street. If you get to the ocean, you've gone too That's far. Right. I tell people <laughs> that all the time, That's right? That's true. Yes. <laughs> and uh, and you have uh, containers out front. I want to talk about that too. Oh, the cages. Yeah, you have cages for people too. Yeah, w most mostly those are used for the the chickens. If people catch chickens mm -hmm. um, and they want to put them in there for an hour after hours, they can be used for the wild birds. Um, we kind of prefer you to call that emergency number at night just to at least let us know. Some birds are okay to sit and overnight. Like a, a little ah, finch little just warbler. landed on your yeah. tree. And sometimes, you know, we want to get them in, especially this time of year, it's getting cold. Yeah. So we prefer them to be in the hospital under a heat light. So you can always call, you know, and sometimes we'll say, oh, that's okay, leave the bird in there overnight. But it's just kind of judgment call depending on what the, you know, stability of the bird is at that point. But The point is, call. Call. Give us a call. All right. And we'll take Thanks, care Michelle. of them. Thanks, Michelle.